Gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, watching it all parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. No way! Frosty! Oh, well. I opened a present, which turned out to be the backpack I'd wanted the year before, but this year I thought was tacky. And then I opened my next present, which was a chess set, and I'm all, what's chess? <laughs> Thanks for that flippity flip fly report on what you did for your holiday, sissy. Pepper Ann, step up! Uh, I wasn't done. I didn't tell you about the ugly puppy. As many of you know, my parents celebrate different holidays. My mother's is Hanukkah, my father's is Christmas. And my whole life, I've just celebrated both. But this year, well... It all started with Ms. Stark's Celebrating Diversity Holiday Medley. I'll probably spend the rest of the holidays tricking Moose out of her chocolate coins. <laughs> what about you guys? I'm going to Hawaii to see my dad. It'll be two glorious weeks of surf, sun, and dolphin frolicking fun. That's awesome! I wish my dad lived in Hawaii. What about your mom and Dirk? Won't they miss you? They'll be so busy with my mom's muffin basket business, they probably won't have time to miss me. Here. Baskets for every budget. Hey, Nikki, are you sure you don't want me to get you a muffin basket? They have lemon poppy seed. No, thank you, Pepper Ann. As usual, I'm eschewing presents in order to celebrate the joy of giving. There are so many in the world in need of help. For the cost of a cup of coffee, you can save a family of 12 in a third world country. Yeah, and? All right, class, settle down. We've got a holiday medley to put on. I hope you've all given serious thought to what role you want to play. Oh, oh, I, I want to be Ramadan. I want to be Kwanzaa. I want to be Charon, the ferryman of the underworld, who ushers the souls of the dead across the river Styx. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. No. Okay, Frosty, then. I want to be Christmas and Hanukkah. Excellent. Kwanzaa, Ramadan, Frosty, and Pepper Ann is Christmas and Hanukkah. Oh, I'm sorry, Pepper Ann, but two holidays are too much for one person to handle. Pick one. Please, Miss Stark. They're never on stage at the same time. I promise I won't blow it. Oh, all right. If you promise not to blow it. I'm going to blow it. Someone less fortunate than I will be able to use these leggings for many, many years. Less fortunate is right. Nikki, stop digging through the trash and help me memorize lines. It's not my fault that you demanded to have two roles. Why couldn't you just settle for one like the rest of us? Why couldn't we just have a generic winter play like every other year? Why did Miss Stark feel the need to celebrate diversity? Why did both my parents decide to come to the play? And why must all these events conspire to make my life miserable? Oh, Pepper Ann, your parents would probably have understood if you'd just chosen one holiday or the other. After all, they are adults. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. I'm trying to memorize my lines. You should take it easy. At your age, you could throw something out of whack. No, I can't help it. I just love the holidays. The decorations, the foods, the family. Uh-oh, the family. Peppy, run upstairs and clean your room. Your grandparents will be here in eight hours. Dad! Happy Hanukkah to you, too. Uh, uh, I mean, mm, uh... Oh, don't worry. You can wish me a happy Hanukkah and a Merry Christmas. Did your mom tell you about our Yuletide plans this year? No, not yet. I didn't know, Mom. Oh, no. Mom! Dad! You're eight hours early. How nice! Eh, what are you gonna do? We were bored. Well, we're having 
Christmas Eve dinner at my mother's house. We'll have roast beef. We'll sing carols. Great. Peppy, we have to run to the store. There is nothing in the fridge except cat food. Mom, I'm talking to Dad. Now have your mother buy you and Moose nice dresses. Your grandmother Pearson likes to see little girls in dresses. All right, bye-bye now. Oh, I should have known. I'm always sorry. Oh, where are my keys? Where are my... Oh, here they are. Come on, sweetie. Will you donate a canned good for the hazelnut soup kitchen? Of course, Nikki. We'll grab one inside. Mom, can I pick up some cards while we're here? Sure, but make it snappy. I'll meet you at the kosher corner in two minutes. <gasps> Watch the chocolates! How did you know that they're my favorite? We think it's wonderful that you're doing this, Nikki. Really wonderful. Please excuse us. We're in a terrible hurry. Call me later so we can rehearse. Oh, yes. They're for the soup kitchen. <laughs> of course. Where have you been? I'm hungry. I already ate all the pate from the ice box. <sighs> Heidi ho, Heidi hey. I bring a basket of yummies to brighten your day. Why are you dressed like an elf? Dirt threw out his back. It's a long story involving much tinsel. But now I'm delivering my mom's muffin baskets instead of going to Hawaii to see my dad. I wish my dad lived in Hawaii. Whatever. Here you go, Lydia. Happy Hanukkah. No! They're from Judy Blathers. Oh, she's my best customer. Mm. <sighs> but I'm getting ready to make dinner. What? You want an old man to starve? Touch the lemon poppy seed and die. That is such a drag. I know how much you really wanted to frolic with the dolphins. Frolic with dolphins? Go door to door passing out wicker abominations in the bitter cold? Hey, what's the difference? How's the play coming? Oh, I haven't had any time to practice. I'm going to Nikki's tomorrow night to run lines. You want to come? I wish I could, but I got baskets to deliver. An endless supply of baskets. If you strung them all together, I bet they'd reach Hawaii. Hello, Candelabra. Where are your flames? Why, hello, Mr. Snowflake. Oh, Nikki, I can't see a thing. Where are all your lamps? I donated them. The poor need light, too. Hey, guys. Can I come in? Milo, I thought you were busy delivering baskets tonight. Heidi ho, Heidi hey. I quit, PA. I'm not going back. I'm dying inside, one basket at a time. Come now, Milo. You don't mean that. Think of all the joy you can deliver with each basket. And isn't that what the holidays are all about? Passing on the joy that we ourselves are so lucky to have in our own lives? Oh, Nikki, I meant to tell you, some ladies from the Hazelnut Library came by to see if we had any books for their Books Not Crooks program. So I gave them some of yours. I figured, you know, you couldn't read them anyway since you gave away your lamps. Well, it was for charity, I guess. Which books did you give them? Just all those old Jane Austen and Emily Bronte novels. Oh, and Milo, your mummy called. She wants you to go home. It's okay, really. It's for charity, right? Besides, I've read all those... Old Jane Austen and Emily Bronte novels a million times. Has the woman gone mad? Share the joy, Nikki. Share the joy. <gasps> Out of here, Catalani. I'd love to stay here and listen to you guys bicker, but between Christmas, Hanukkah, and this play, I've just got too much to do. children and tell tidings of Christmas. Why, hello, Mr. Snowflake. I am a menorah. Up, up, up! You're on in three, two, one! Hello, Candelabra. Where are your flames? Why, hello, Mr. Snowflake. I am a menorah. My candles have not yet been lit. But why not? 
Because the first candle is not lit until the first night of Hanukkah. Will you sing me a song about it? Why, of course, Mr. Snowflake. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me its own turn on song. The wrong song! Well, oh, that's what's going on. No one here. My life is drama trash. Peppy, honey, is everything all right? Oh, I'm fine, except that I ruined the play. No, don't you worry about that for one second. We're all very proud. Thanks, Mom. Now, please excuse me, sweetie. I've got to go tend to your grandmother now. What's wrong with Grandma? Oh, it's nothing. She's just hyperventilated a little is all. She'll be fine. <gasps> How you doing, Mom? <sighs> I'm afraid this is getting out of hand. I told you, Lydia, you should have made her choose a long time ago. <gasps> Choose? Oh, you're right. Come Christmas Day, she's just gonna have to give us an answer. It's gotta be one or the other. Choose? Face it, the holidays are driving everyone nuts. Nikki and Milo are at each other's throats. Mom and Dad think you're losing your grip. Grandma's breathing through a paper bag. You've gotta do something. Like what? You know what. Choose? Between Christmas and Hanukkah? Bingo! It's Christmas versus Hanukkah. May the best holiday win. Dad, how would you go about making a choice between two things you really loved? I mean, say you want ice cream, and you have a choice between Rocky Road and Butter Pecan. How would you choose? Well, that would be easy, Butter Pecan. Marshmallows make my throat swell shut. <laughs> okay. Say it's something else, like say you had to choose between me and Moose. Oh, there's no way. I could never choose between you. I love you both. Okay. Say you had to choose between Moose and Steve the Cat. Peppy, I'm not going to choose between Moose and Steve. I can't imagine a scenario in which I'd have to. Oh, you guys are no help at all. Why don't you tell me what's troubling you really? I just need to make a big choice between two things, and I don't know how to do it. Well... Sometimes when I need to make a tough choice, I just make a list of the pros and cons of each thing, and then I tally them up. It worked when I needed to choose between the baked potato chips and the ones with the fake fat. A list! Do you really think this is going to work? I don't know, but I don't have much time. You heard them. I'm going to have to choose by Christmas Day. This one's too small. This one's too crooked. This one's too pointy. Pepper Ann, I can't go another step. So, if you don't mind, just pick one. This is it. Give me the axe. Oh, no, little lady. I'm the adult. I'll do the chopping. Oh, my back! <laughs> I thought you said fat was evil incarnate to the dieting woman. <laughs> oh, Peppy. We're supposed to be commemorating the miracle of the oil. Remember how there was only one cruise of consecrated oil for the eternal light in the temple? Yeah, 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 and it lasted eight days. It miraculously burned for the eight days and nights needed to get more oil. Which may not seem like much to you, but in those days there wasn't a Smiley's grocery store on every corner. So we traditionally fry our foods in oil at this time of year. In remembrance. Once a year's not so bad, is it? Okay, luck is hot off the stove! Mmm. Mom, how do you spell latkes? <gasps> Oh, here are my angels. <laughs> come along, come along. The roast is almost out of the oven. I hope you like blood pudding. Well, I heard that Freon isn't ecologically responsible. It's derived from petroleum. Hey, hey, hey. Freon puts food on this table. I think Prop 509 is the best thing to happen to this state. Poppycock. It's the whole to anarchy. When the weather's not so good, neither is my hip. It creaks like it wants to pop out of the socket. Oh, 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 oh. 
I've been it all. Give me some sugar. Careful, Leo. Too much chocolate and they'll both suffer for it later. All right, off to bed, girl, so Santa can come. Dad, it's so early. Go to bed so Santa can come. <gasps> it's from us. Hey, socks. A fun station 128 with lobster trap three. Yes. Well, who's the winner? Christmas? Hanukkah? <sighs> they're equal. How am I supposed to make a choice when they're equal? Nikki. Happy holidays, peace on earth, deck the halls! But what if you don't have a hall to deck? This Christmas Day, we came to the Hazelnut Soup Kitchen for their annual holiday brunch. With me now is the founder of the soup kitchen, Colonel Ozzy Delaney. Colonel, how do you manage to spread so much joy during the holidays? Well, Sherry, we couldn't do all this without the help of our wonderful volunteers. The Christmas decorations are better than the Hanukkah ones, but Mom's latkes are way better than Grammy Pearson's blood pudding. But for Christmas, I got a fun station 128, while for Hanukkah, I got socks. Ah, oh, socks. What I wouldn't give for nice, new socks. Nikki, stop dishing out that slop and help me. I have to choose today. Oh, quit your whining. Eight days of Hanukkah presents plus the Christmas morning mother load. From where I'm standing, you've got it made in the shade, sister. Delivery for Nikki Little. Finally! Come to Mama, you fat, tasty muffins. Pardon me, I've got to take a break. Delivering so much joy has made me tired. A muffin donation has been made in your name to the Hazelnut Children's Hospital. Merry Christmas. A donation has been made in your name to the Children's Hospital. A donation has been made in your name to the Old Mimes Home. A donation has been made in your name to... Who cares? <gasps> Don't worry, my man. The factory will open up again. Here, have a muffin. Hey, Milo, I thought you'd left. Ah, oh, I could really use your help because I'm running out of time. Hey, PA, this here's Earl, Chester, and Malik. They lost their jobs when the marshmallow factory closed down, and now they're down on their luck. Hello. Yeah, hi. Pleased to meet you. How's it going? What did you want to show me? Uh, nothing. Oh, we're going to go play some Crunch Pod later. You want to come? My treat. Thanks, but uh, I've got to go home. Nice to meet you guys. Now, the key to the pod is the smart bomb. Choose. Choose, choose, choose. Ah. Choose. Choose. Well, did you make your choice? Yeah. Who are you? Today's the day. You guys are freaking me out. Oh, come on. It's not so hard. Just pick Hanukkah. What my flame-headed friend means is, choose Christmas. Hanukkah. Christmas. Just choose the one you like best, the one that's funnest. Just choose it, Hanukkah. Don't give in to winter blues. Fa la 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 la. Christmas is the one to choose. Fa la 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 la. Just the girl that can and little dreidels. Go dry pine needles. Just choose it, Hanukkah. Stop it! I can't choose. The holidays are about bringing families together, not tearing them apart. You should know that. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to choose. Busy lady? Actually, I'm playing golf with the Easter Bunny. Wanna come? Oh, well, did you have fun at the soup kitchen? Uh, is Dad here? Yeah, he's putting up Moose's Christmas present. Come on, Dad. One more game. Huh. Your old dad's had enough for one day, I'm afraid. Peppy, wanna shoot some hoops? Dad just put up my new backboard. One second, Moose. I have an announcement to make, everybody. What is it, Peppy? <sighs> Mom? Dad? I just want to say that I love Hanukkah and I love Christmas. Asking me to choose between them would be like asking me to choose between the two of you. Or asking you to choose between Moose and Steve. So, I've made a decision. I'm not going to choose. That's great. Good. Uh, all right. Wonderful idea. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. Mom finally decided she's going to stick with Dr. Washington. Oh, thank goodness. 
She had me so worried that night at Pepper Ann's play. Who knew she'd get so worked up over a tiny little mouse running under her chair? A uh, mouse? Well, it turns out it was a free-rolling soda can, but Mom's had two primary care physicians for a long time, and when she started hyperventilating, well, we didn't know which one to call. We decided that this year she'd finally have to choose between them. You wanted Grandma to choose? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Is something wrong, Peppy? Peppy? Chuck, get the bag. I think she's hyperventilating. The holidays aren't about the presents or the meals or the decorations. They're about my family. And that's the story of what I did for the holiday. We are here today to do a story on a very special young person. Someone who spent their Christmas day at the hazelnut soup kitchen <gasps> helping those less fortunate. We'd just like to say, you're an example of what's right with kids today, Milo Kamalani. I don't understand. I was just delivering a basket. Didn't you give a muffin to a down-on-his-luck man while you were there? Well, yeah, but... For your generosity, you've won a trip to Hawaii for you and your entire family! I can't believe it! I I'd like to thank my mother, my stepfather, Dirk, all my friends... <coughs> Actually, Sherry, there's someone who deserves this more than I do. She's a wonderful person who spent the holidays giving of herself. You want to give your trip to me? Did we mention it's non-transferable? But Milo, I've been awful to you. And I haven't even been very generous, either. When I saw everyone else getting presents, I wanted those socks. But it wasn't until this moment that I realized I have the greatest gift of all, a friend like you. Mickey, we're not friends. We're family. Fine, fine, we'll send you both. After all, you're family. I'm family, too. Like I said, holidays are about family. Right? Right? Right?